All right, welcome to this new tutorial on East West Hollywood Orchestrator. Um, this is a, a tutorial on a topic that came up a lot in the comments, mainly how to export the MIDI data from Hollywood Orchestrator into your DAW. And because uh, sometimes, you know, you, you may want to incorporate a, another instrument that's not in Hollywood Orchestra, um, you know, bring in some other percussion, bring in um, some synthesizers, and you want them to follow the ostinato that you've created, but you really don't feel like recreating it for that particular instrument. So you can export all of the MIDI data to other tracks within your DAW. And um, it's really simple, just not very straightforward. So first thing to do, of course, is to load up an instance of Opus, open up your Hollywood orchestrator. Um, I should let you know now that this tutorial is specific to Studio One. Your DAW may uh, have a, a different method um, to, to getting these tracks out. I imagine it, it's going to be similar, but uh, this is specific to Studio One. So I've opened up Hollywood Orchestrator. I'm going to adjust my tempo. That's a little fast. And I'm going to load up a preset just so that we have something already set for us. I'm not going into the basics of Hollywood Orchestrator here. Um, I have another, I have another video for that, and I will link below. I want to jump right into um, exporting the patterns after you've created them. So we have our ostinato loaded, and let's hear it. Okay, and I want to see how long it is. So this is two bars. The pattern is two bars long. So I'm going to close that. Probably don't have to get back into Orchestrator again. Like we've we've done all of our work there. Now it's about working with the DAW. So I'm going to draw in a two bar pattern, or a two bar chord here, a sustained chord. And as usual, it will be C minor. And if I play that, There is our ostinato. So now let's get those patterns that you've created out of Orchestrator and into your DAW. So we want to go to add a new track. We want to give it a name, Orchestra Works, and then you want to make sure the type is instrument and the count is 16. By default, it's usually one. So make sure you change that to 16 because we're going to create 16 new tracks. Color is fine. And then the input needs to change to Opus MIDI Output 1. And then make sure Ascending is checked. So make sure that's checked. Make sure this one is unchecked. Everything else can stay as default. But this is the setup for your to create your tracks. Click OK. And there we go. Studio One has created all of our tracks. Created 16 new tracks and our original instance. Now we want to highlight all of these together. So I'm going to shift click on the first and last tracks so that everything is selected together. And then I want to record arm all of the tracks. And finally hit the record button. And there you have it. We've exported our pattern from Orchestrator into our DAW. So we can take a look at, this one's a little more involved here, a little, a little more fun. We can see that our pattern for the instrument that was at um, output three in Orchestrator has been exported. Now, you're not gonna, if we mute Orchestrator, we're not gonna hear anything because there are no instruments loaded into these tracks. It's just the raw MIDI data. If we turn or uh, orchestrator back on and we hit play, yeah, we can hear it. But now that we have our MIDI exported, um, we can start to bring in new instruments that are outside of Hollywood Orchestra or even outside of East West altogether. So um, for instance, if we want to add some synthesizers to highlight this staccato 
rhythm pattern. Um, I can bring in, I can drop in a Presonus uh, Mai Tai synthesizer and drop that onto track three, which is now going to start playing this rhythmic pattern from Hollywood Orchestrator. Let's see how that sounds. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I know it's gonna be loud. There we go. Now we've added a little more um, electronic staccato to our orchestra piece. So now this has gone from, you know, maybe a, a dark adventure to some sort of cybercrime thriller. And let's say we want to bring in the Hollywood choirs into our pattern. We can't access Hollywood choirs from inside Orchestrator, so we have to export the MIDI if we want to use the choirs with the orchestra. And in this case, I think I like that um, that bass motif that I, I want to highlight that. I highlight that bass motif with some choirs. I know that's down here at track 15, so let's drop in opus and load up our i'm going to do the i do the hollywood hollywood choirs men's choir because it's on that's low and we'll do the vowels and the epic ah all right now we've got that in place let's hear how that sounds pretty sweet what's even cooler though is that these instruments are mapped actually into orchestrator oops wrong thing here i'm trying to stretch this out so we can see it so all of these instruments are mapped to a specific midi output in orchestrator and if we go up to orchestrator this is output 15 if we go up to orchestrator um, we see here these are the midi outputs so if we look for 15 we see that it's our celli um, and this is the pattern that was exported. Now, since Opus output 15 is mapped to the choirs, any change we make here in Orchestrator, the choirs are going to play that change. So let's pull this up really high. We'll just make, we'll really exaggerate this, this extension here. So now let's hear what that sounds like. I think that's all I've got right now. Um, get into Orchestrator, play around with it. Um, we got the MIDI out of Orchestrator. That was the main goal. And um, now it's experimentation time. <clears throat> if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe for more. And I will talk to you later.